सो हे गाइस वेलकम टू द चैनल कोड शेफ इफ यू वांट टू लर्न कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग एंड गेट अ गुड होल्ड ऑन डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड एल्गोरिथम दिस इज द वन स्टॉप डेस्टिनेशन फॉर यू एवरी वीक देयर सेवरल वीडियोस व्हिच विल एनहांस योर स्किल्स इन डीएसए एज़ वेल एज़ द वीडियो एडिटोरियल्स फॉर द कोड शेफ कॉन्टेस्ट सो इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल देन डू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड टर्न ऑन द बेल नोटिफिकेशन सो माय सेल्फ श्री आयुष जैन आई एम अ कोड शेफ एजुकेटर एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक्स ऑफ क्रिस्कल एल्गोरिथम एंड दिस इज द पार्ट ऑफ द मिनिमम स्पैनिंग ट्री Okay guys so now let us understand the Kruskal's algorithm right so before moving to Kruskal algorithm one important note is that you should have the understanding of disjoint set union as well as what are minimum spanning trees right so we have covered these both things in the videos right so if you have not watched that videos kindly do watch it and the link of both the videos is in the description right so now let's start with the Kruskal's algorithm So what does Kruskal's algorithm states? Right, the ultimate goal of Kruskal's algorithm is to get the minimum spanning tree. Right. So, what it states is that while building the spanning tree, we'll add the edges in the growing stage of the spanning tree. Right. So when we are trying to build it, we are going to add the edges accordingly with our understanding, with our why is that how we should add it such that the properties of minimum spanning trees are met. and finally we will be able to construct one minimum spanning tree right so this is the statement of kruskal's algorithm is now what what is the exact algorithm so first of all what we'll do is we'll try to sort all of the edges right the edges that we get right during uh, uh, while uh, adding in in the uh, minimum spanning tree right so prior to that what we will do we'll sort all the edges because this kruskal algorithm is the greedy algorithm we use the greedy approach here right so first of all we'll sort all the edges and on what basis should we sort all the edges on the basis of increasing order of the edge weight right so in the increasing order of the edge weight we'll try to sort it the reason is quite simple because we want the minimum weight at the last in the minimum spanning tree right and how we can get that minimum weight if we sort according to the increasing order of the weight that we have as of now and we'll try to take the edges which form which have the minimum weight right okay so first of all what we will do we'll sort the edges and then after that we'll add the edges in the minimum spanning tree right starting from the smallest weight edge till the largest one right and while adding what we need to check is we need to check that only those edges which do not form a cycle right which do not form a cycle that means that they are from a separate component right we are trying to add two disconnected components together right only those two vertices or the edge which connects those two components must be added if it it is from the same component and form cycle then it should not be added right so this is the important thing that we should we should check while adding the edge in the minimum spanning tree and which which is the basic requirement also for the minimum spanning tree right the goal is we should cover all the vertices with the minimum weight possible right this is the end goal and this is how the kruskal's algorithm works right so this is uh, some theoretical aspect of kruskal's algorithm now the, uh, we'll see how we can uh, understand the kruskal's algorithm with the help of an example so now let's move towards the example okay so now let us understand the example of the kruskal's algorithm so we have seen the what the theoretical algorithm states now let us understand with the help of example so what we have been given we have been given this undirected weighted graph right and we need to form the minimum spanning tree of it also we have been given the starting vertex the end vertex and the weight associated with that edge right so this is an edge like 1 to 2 right 1 to 2 this is an edge and the corresponding weight associated with this edge is 5 right so this is we have been given now step number 1 for kruskal's algorithm is we need to sort all of the edges in the increasing order of their weight right so <coughs> if you see first of all what is the minimum weight that we have that is 3 so this is the first edge that we should work upon now what is the next weight that is 4 what is the next weight that is 5 so we can take either of the two that is 1 2 5 and after that that is 3 4 5 right now then it is 6 4 1 6 then it is 7 right 2 4 7 right so we have taken all of the edges so this is the 
increasing order of the edges on the basis of the weight associated with the edge right now we have done with this right we are done with this now the task is to add these edges in the minimum spanning tree right how we can add the edges in the minimum spanning tree according to the condition that it should not form the cycle that means that the two uh, vertices which are connected through the edge must be from different components right we are trying to connect two different components together okay so now let's see so first edge is one two three this one right one two three with the weight three so we'll take this edge right one two three so in our tree one two three this edge will be taken okay so this is the edge with the weight three with the weight three so we took this edge now the next edge is three to two three to two with weight four okay so it does it form a cycle no it does not right and it also like connects two different components if we consider this two as an isolated node and one three as uh, one component so it connect two different components as well right so three to two okay and what is the weight associated with this that is four so it took this edge as well now the third one is one to two and with weight five so if we form this one one to two with weight five so it will form a cycle right because we have taken these two edges and it will form a cycle so we'll not take this edge right we'll not take this edge right <clears throat> now the next one that is three to four three to four this one right two different components does not form cycle right so we'll take this up what is the weight associated with this that is five right so we have taken this so if you see here like at this step only if you consider just one observation that we have covered all the vertices right one two three four we have covered all the four vertices right so now let's see for the next two edges does does we require to take them four to one four to one this one four to one right <clears throat> do we need to take it this four to one right no why because it does not form it does not uh, there is no need because we have taken this edge as well right uh, we have taken this edge and we have already covered this vertex and if you see here this particular combination forms a cycle right this particular combination forms a cycle that's why there is no need to take this particular edge right so we will not take it the next one that is two to four uh this one right this also forms a cycle this also forms a cycle if you see here this also forms a cycle so there is no requirement to take this edge as well right so we have taken three edges that is one two three uh one two two uh one two three three two two and three two four and what are the corresponding weight associated with that that is three four and five right so this is the minimum spanning tree which is formed after the chris Carl's algorithm this is the minimum spanning tree of this particular graph right and now sometimes question demands that what will be the sum of the weights right so it is quite simple because the edges which we have taken the corresponding weights will be the sum right so what will be the sum of all this that is 3 plus 4 plus 5 this is the sum of this uh weights of the minimum spanning tree which is formed right so this is the simple example for the chris Carl's algorithm in the next video we'll try to see what is the coding structure for this chris Carl algorithm as well we'll try to code everything from scratch right so that is it and now let us look at what is what will be the time complexity right so if you if you if you have seen the disjoint set union part of the video right if we if we want to add the edges using dsu it will take a constant time right it will take a constant time but here what will be the time complexity because in prior to dsu we are trying to sort the edges right right because in prior to dsu we are trying to sort the sort the edges right so while sorting the edges right what will be the time complexity that is n log n right n log n will be required to sort the edges so at worst at worst this will be the time complexity that is involved in sorting the edges right so that's it from the theoretical aspect as well as the example understanding of Friscal's algorithm 
uh, in the next video we'll try to cover everything that we have seen right starting from the dsu the minimum spanning tree and this crystal algorithm to code it down and form the final structure of the crystal algorithm